got the beer inside your veins, sweat dripping down your head. Feeling like you might give up, but you push on through instead. Learning how to survive, hanging by a thread. No time for sitting still, got the man watching us. Hey guys, what's up, this is Sinonish98. What's going on, Pet Shoppers and Video Gamers? It's a little Nintendo shop here. Hello everyone, this is Wing Arts28. Hello everybody, this is the Bacon Master. Download Bacon. Hello neighbor, this is CC Trainer Ling. What's going on guys, it's James and I um, don't need nothing but a good time. How can I resist? And right now we have a special returning guest, so if you would like to please introduce yourself, that'd be very nice. Introduce. What's up fellas, I'm Steven, nice to meet you all. Again. Nice. Okay, guys, so uh, without further ado, let's go right to the plot. So the plot here is that Blythe is accidentally invited to the Biscuit's birthday party at their mansion, and they get to hear their favorite, uh, Blythe and Young Me's favorite boy band, Soul Patch, is live. And when the pets hear about this, they decide to go to the party after Blythe tells them not to be seen, so they still go anyway in a big disguise. Okay, uh, the first positive I have listed would have to be the continuity. I love how in the very beginning, how Russell was saying, we've never heard shrieks like that since Sunil had bugs crawling all over him. <laughs> <laughs> and then when they did the flashback to what's in the batter. Oh, yeah. Remember the last time we went to a party? I'm sure they wouldn't hold a grudge between that. Oh, if you really wanted to make it like the last, if you want to make it like what's in the batter, they had to be sitting in the chairs going, I just texted you how great this party is. I just texted you the same thing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, teenagers. That was days. good. That was good. I, bet you they really su- I bet you those two suck up data like no one business. No doubt. To uh, anyone want to elaborate? Or... Uh, no, not funny. really. I think you've uh, already explained uh, uh, the I think we pretty much hit the nail on the head. Uh, let's see. I, I gotta admit, though, that I, I kind of find this guy to be a bit amusing to watch. Um, from the point, like, when all the pets are just disguised as, a, as uh, the, yeah, a, as a human, like, guest at the biscuits. Uh, it's twins basically party. average, stereotypical person in a giant trench coat using a mustache and a hat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, they, um, if, if they, you guys remember Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, there was an episode where Blue did the Orlando same thing. Orlando Blue. Yeah, Orlando Blue, and he tried eating his, his steak, with, steak with his spoon. Like, the same thing. Trench coat, the hat, the mustache. You know, it's it's so so similar. You'd think that would be, like, almost like a reference. Oh, Frankie, don't you remember me? Mm-hmm. We went out in high school. But I'm glad they kind of took it to a different direction rather than just, like, you know, um... Oh, hey there, Blythe! Don't you remember me from from high school? <laughs> uh, I am in high school. They <laughs> yeah. also just come up as animal noises. I think another thing I would have actually would have said was that, well, the, the, there was actually this, like, um, there was a boy band uh, that they were supposed to, like, anticipate over the party. But apparently, like, I thought it was going to be, like, one of those, like, generic One Direction, like, uh, um, uh, parody. But then it's like, oh, they have the instruments, so they're actually more of a rock band, like, so... Yeah. yeah. Is they say boy band because it gets to be more feminine rather than like, oh, we're gonna go see a rock band tonight called the Soul Patches. They're like the greatest, you know, bands in ACDC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Okay. Better than ACDC. The, the one part, no. the, the one part about that, the, the Soul Patches, was when Blythe and Young Me were fanboying and screaming the whole time. That's where admits that patches. he was a fan because we knew he was a fan from the very first minute. Yeah. Um, like, I, I had a picture on my mind of him at his computer going, Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> like, every time they mention him, is like there's like that guitar chord, and they're like scream, screaming their heads off like like they're in a horror movie. Yeah. Well, it's more it's yeah. more just fangirling, not fanboying. Yeah, fangirling. Yeah, but, you know, in the in the dramatic scene, we just saw a horror fan movie. Luckily, you didn't do like the reaction fake or like, Whoa! Oh my god! Mm-hmm. Oh my god! Like you're in a Twilight Zone, you go like, oh man, not again. Talking <laughs> about the Twilight Zone, I've seen a lot. Of- <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I've seen a lot of weird stuff come out of Twilight Zone, man. Was it just me, or, or did it feel like Jas- Jasper was pulling sort of like a Vinny moment, well, moments when he was doing the whole eh thing, just like how Vinny was doing in Lights Camera Mongoose? Yeah, that's actually yeah. Like- Meh, like- not a fan. <laughs> I-, I love the part where he was like, 
Yeah, and the part when he breaks out into the song. And he says, yeah, oh, like, I don't the song. What are you talking about? And then Rock like a, is like, yeah, son, yeah, you know your soul patches. High five. Don't leave me hanging. I, I just like to point out that I freaking loved Roger in this episode. Oh, I really oh, did. He's, so he, he's just so adorable. He's he's awesome. Wow. <laughs> he's so lovable. His but, dancing is just off the hook. Can you agree that Roger Badger is like best pet? <laughs> He is the best. In this episode, he really did shine a lot. Especially with the whole uh, high five moment. Mm -hmm. so about was, young me. Yeah. Yes, young no, me for that, has more character. No, for that part when he does that Jeez. face, like when you give out the high five, you go like this. Okay, I officially, can you please get away from me? Because I, you really are scaring me, please. <laughs> 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 it's like you really go like, oh, God, what is that? Like, don't leave me hanging. There is something I really don't want to leave you hanging, but I really just want to leave, so bye. <laughs> just, like, make a run for it. You're right. Oh. Young Me actually did develop. She uh, developed some really good dog and chicken noises. I think Sharon Chan Kent is trying to practice for her animal roles. Yes, sir. Wait, the other part yeah. that I, I thought, like, I knew this was going to happen... That right when they start dancing, he, you know, Sunil starts to get really itchy and starts scratching himself. I, I didn't understand what was going on at that part at the moment. Well, I'm like, what does he get? Did he get fleas or something? Or is he just having an irritation or something? I'm just like, what's happening? Uh, he, he said he got a flea. Yeah, it was a flea. Yeah, yeah it says a flea. He's like, oh, no, please! Oh, I, okay, I didn't see that part. I didn't hear that part. Yeah. But then the shoe fell off. And yeah. Fisher's trying to find the person who owns the shoe and matching people's yeah. feet. It's like, uh, Cinderella, anyone? Uh, That's what I was thinking. Oh, it's yeah. It's Cinderella. Yeah, Hence but the if you put it... tied, though. You know, the shoe fits. You know, That's if... a tie, though. In the... Hey, yeah. Oh. Yeah, but if you go, like... oh, oh, my God. Oh. I just now got that. <laughs> memory? Yeah, memory. And then the part where Roger's like, hey, how'd my old shoe get here? Oh, well. Oh, well. It just starts... Yes, like waving his arms yeah. his <laughs> you know it's funny it curve when you just put it on and go like how does it get here oh well you just put it on he doesn't even check like uh wait i'm not sure if i step on something or there's just bugs in there oh my god <laughs> <laughs> like i feel like a it's like a practical prank you go like oh i hate these guys so much darn it it's more like that whole, um, hey, that's my missing list shoe. What's that supposed to do? Ooh, a penny. <laughs> exactly. You Short just go memory. like, away, penny. how do you not get the shot? Ooh, a butterfly. <laughs> or, I have you know. I do not have attention deficit. Ooh, shiny. <laughs> <laughs> I do not get distracted so easily. Ooh, a, ooh, a fire hydrant. Uh. <laughs> Okay, uh, we left off with Elinus with his, uh, with his positive. Let me think. My positive was just really young me, Roger. The comedy in this episode has to be one of the strongest comedy episodes out of all of the, out of all of season three. Corey Powell for the win. Do that. Do that. Yep. What's um, up? Is that everyone's real positives, or can we go to the negatives? Oh, wait, I have one more, uh, positive. Okay. Which... It's a positive that leads to my negative. My final positive I have listed is the song at the end. And I like it, although this is where it leads into my my negatives. It's a nitpick that Kylie F. did not get enough, you know, time to actually sing the song. She sang, like, the very I, first part I, of the song, and then the rest of it was her barking. I agree with you, Sunil, on that one. Anyone else want to Yeah. It's yeah. Like, it, this it, song it, that, definitely that had potential. Kind of, yeah. There it, was potential to it, but, and then they just wasted it. It yeah. was like Crush, only there wasn't a whole lot of singing. Uh -huh. I, I was going to say, it kind of reminded me of Crush, too, since the, a similar situation happened. You know, band's playing, Zoe is up there singing her heart out, and it just comes out as barking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that got me off part, and it was felt like... What they just put a cursing word? I mean, come on! I mean, it's a little kid show. You just like I understand it's Zoe. It's like you hear her barking. That's cute, but let's hear let's hear her voice like outstanding rock like rock out. I mean, you yeah. know. 
like from the point of view of Blythe, like if she ever sees the episode like that, yeah. Steven, do you have any negatives? I honestly really don't have one. Uh, uh, I wish I do, but it doesn't really come to me. Let's see, what, what's, what would be my any, negative? Yeah, James, what's your negative? All right, I'm tr trying to think of any that, that aren't just nitpicks, because I do have a couple of little, tiny little nitpicks. Like, the whole um, disguise thing's been done to death quite a bit. But, it, you know, at least they did something different with it, you know? Yeah, and but then, you I... got yeah, yeah, to understand, they actually went with the good limitation here with them being yeah. funny, pretty much communicate with all the... Yeah. With... Human unlike, income. unlike, like I said, Foster's where you know he's like, "Oh, I'm your old pal from college," or you don't you remember me, or something uh, like I that. Yeah. But I didn't it think that made, um, it actually made more sense for Zoe to be on the top because I think that would actually more or less reference an actual human because even though the ears would be a giveaway, it would still act as sort of hair. Yeah, oh. it's sort of. But really, the only other nitpick I have is that um. Well, actually, one little observation. This isn't a negative or anything, but I thought I saw my clone a couple times. Like, the first time after the pets come in, and then one of the soul patches looks a bit like a skinnier, um, slightly more clean-shaven version of myself with little shorter hair. But, really? but more so the guy that came in after the pets, you know, the, the um, blonde-haired dude. James, Hi. have you been messing with Shadow Clone Jutsus? Sorry. Um... Maybe I might have might have invented a portal to insert myself into TV shows. Oh, I'm, I'm just I'm just kidding. Okay, who whosoever finds James clones, please return it back to him. Yes, yeah, I don't want I don't want will. to have a Forrest Gump moment. But anyway, that's really the only negatives I have is that the disguise thing's been done done to death. But at least they did something new with it. Yeah. So. But other the other night, you know, I I enjoyed myself. You know, great great episode. Well, can I give my negative? Sure. Again, my negative is just this episode was just mostly below average, not so much as below below average like uh, two pets for two pets for me, just more more. It's higher than two pets for two pets. Um. Yeah, I'll agree with their view. Like on that one. Yeah, I. I thought the story was a bit dull and interesting, but it's not as worse particularly. I mean, because apparently I'm I'm more of a story and character guy who just wanted, wanted to see a good story, or just it, with comedy included. So, but yeah. I I felt it was just uh, a bit dull, and the payoff was just just a bit weird. Like when the when the president actually that uh, Bly was going to give to this kids was actually just a picture of of, of their friends. Like you like how how Bly just created a paper plane, just threw it over to the. The boy Ben. Yeah. I did like what I said at the live stream. Knowledge of Paper Mario don't fail me now. Oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And there was oh, there was also a mis mis uh, translating about how like uh, the pet actually still w went to the party regardless because of the fact that they thought they shouldn't be seen, but Blythe Bly Bly Man was was for them to not be there this time. And well, they just like yeah, they just did it, they just went with the ladder just like go to the party anyway and caused much trouble. But luckily, it didn't actually like. Didn't ruin the part in the end. I'm like, what? What's in the bear happened when they were like exposed? And also the biscuits were underplayed. I mean, the fact that they weren't through the photo, it was just Blythe like, uh, like being invited to see the stole patches. And that's... Yeah, that that is something a little nitpick there. I wish there was more biscuits. I love yeah. this. More biscuits for everyone. Biscuits. Yes, yes. <laughs> British cookies for everyone. Yes. Uh, any other negatives? Uh, no, I that's about all the negatives I really have. That's I yeah. think we got them, yeah. I think we Alright, so overall this was a really good episode in my opinion. And um it, it really had a lot of stuff I was hoping for. I love the idea that they had with going with the disguise. Um Samuel getting the flea as from what I've been told now. Because the first one I first saw it, I didn't know what was going on. But Roger Baxter was awesome as always. Cause, you know, cause when isn't Roger Baxter awesome? Whenever uh, Jasper Jasper was actually a positive for me on my list, believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen. Neil, you asked me when uh, Roger's never never awesome. It's only when Roger when Roger Baxter is not voiced by Michael Copsa, <laughs> and when or, he's not on screen, or <laughs> or when he's not <laughs> singing in a different singing voice. That's the only time he's not cool. Well, unless it's Gordon Maxwell. Gordon Maxwell knows what he's doing. 
Yeah, yep. that's yeah, that's the exception. That is the exception. Okay. okay, so overall, my final score is going to be a eight point five out of ten. Lenas, what is and yours my going to be? Score will be a please. Surface a six point five out of ten. Do oh peanut gallery out in the crowd. <laughs> All right. Hey, look for the cashews. <laughs> All right. Uh, for me, it was a bit of a mediocre episode, in my opinion. Well, the, I know the strength is, is a comedy, and it managed to keep the intended audience entertained with those moments, and like from our positives listed. But to me, I just felt the story was a bit uh, un uninteresting and lacked the flow of how we've seen the pets crashing the party before and the uh, cliche with uh, being disguised like it's crashing it anyway. But, um, yeah, I feel it was a bit disappointing, but it's not the worst of the series, so, I mean, yeah. So, for my score, it's a 6 uh, out of 10. As for the B-Man, myself, um, what's it called? I really did enjoy this episode a lot, and, like I said, it was a simple story, simple thing, but the characters really took it for me. Uh, there was a lot of funny moments, a lot of great things. Uh, I don't know why the Soul Patches was called a boy band when they're a rock band, but whatever. And... All the biscuits were played a little down, and there's no official song, which is a little meh. But it does hold my favorite moment of season three, and funniest moment in season three when when it comes to the butler. I love that guy so much. Oh, I love. Yeah, I remember that part. Oh, I, I can't believe yeah, that. We, yeah, we all do, man. We all we do. All, we, we all love. We all love Francois. Francois is awesome. Oh uh, yeah. Like. Do you guys know what part I'm like? Roger Baxter and Sunil Lawson and Russell Lawson. Yeah. Like, okay. the one part that is my favorite is when you see them in the background. The Biscuits are talking to Blythe, and Blythe said that uh, they invited him, and they're blaming, oh, it's all Francois's fault. He needs help, or he's going to get fired. And it shows him walking in the background that just walks out. Like, I don't <laughs> know if you guys saw that part. <laughs> <laughs> I cracked up when I saw that. It's I like, uh, I wasn't here. Nope, I was, nope, I just was never here. I never even woke up this morning. <laughs> I never even took this job. Like, this is, this is, this is, this is all an illusion. This whole yeah, day never I'm happened. I'm dreaming right now. <laughs> With him, Roger Baxter, Mrs. Twomley, and just how great the jokes were. I mean, even though the story was, eh, and there were certain little negatives that I should be more harsh on, I'm going to give this... A 9.75 out of 10. Funny how me and Dallin's Bacon always give the highest ratings. <laughs> because yeah, I know. Because yeah. yeah. we, we both love, we love like all the episodes. Yeah. <laughs> I guess you're easy to please like me. Yeah. Oh, now, you, speaking you, of which, um, I, I enjoyed myself. Like I, I've said this time and time again, the one mark of a good episode is if I'm entertained. I was entertained and then some. So I'm going to change up my rating scale for this episode on a scale of, of 1 to 10, 1 being One Direction and 10 being New Kids on the Block. We're going to give this a, a 9, which is a boys to men. Wow. Yeah, a boy band. So scale. a 9 out of 10. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Now, for me, yeah, okay. The story is rather basic, and it's it's a... It's a plot that's been done before in many other TV shows, so I kind of knew exactly what was going to happen. As far as the pets were involved, um, I thought the comedy was pretty funny. Not going to deny that. Um, there also were some really great moments, like, you know, Pepper's ears with their tail, and that was oh, yeah. awesome. Uh, the, uh, yeah, the pets doing those little uh, disguises during... Uh during uh, the pet shop scene, yeah, that was so just you know, downright. The glasses and the mustache. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah, was yeah, yeah, yeah. He was wearing like a yeah. sack with hearts on it or something like that. Yeah, and uh, you know, Penny Ling had had the uh, bunny ears, so like, yeah. awesome, awesome, adorable. Yeah. Uh, I just wish Jasper had just come out and just said, "Okay, I love the soul patches like sooner and like not and like not towards in because again, I knew exactly where this was going. He was pulling a Vinny on us, so." Just would have been a lot more easier just to come out with it during during the first act, not wait till the very end. And yeah, the biscuits were underused. I wish they could have had some more screen time and maybe get involved just a tiny bit more. And I'll agree with everyone else. This this song can't really be a song. 
because there's not real any there's there's just no real singing to it and we had the chance to get Kylie Epp to to like perform another great musical number but it it, it just it, it just didn't happen it's kind of like a cheated moment for me she's actually she's actually a, a country singer believe it or not yeah and that's good yeah but overall I'm not going to hate the episode it's pretty average for me so I'm gonna give it a score of seven point seven out of ten well for my opinion it's a really good episode don't get me wrong I mean I have no doubts I have no problem about it but it was I'm just like one thing a little surprised that the biscuit twins like invite life after all that season like all that grudge part maybe they just let us slide just at least one time maybe for me i'll just give this like um like even though all this all this problem but yeah i'll give it like about 8.0 out of 10. solid eight yeah solid eight oh five um, as a quick announcement, uh, for people that are on Tumblr, I don't know if most of you know about this, but there's actually a f- LPS fans who are actually making their own video game, a full, full-length video game for LPS. It's called Vin City. Oh, really? Yeah, Vin City. And as you can tell by the title, it's about you playing as Vinny. The, it's like an RPG. Uh, Martin there's going really to be enemies that. and stuff. Oh. And, and people will actually ask them if they'd be able to ship uh, Vinny and Cindy on it, and they said no, they're straight, and it's just like the series. Well, I know someone who was a guest pet that will really like this one. <coughs> Rocky. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah, she was the one who told me about it. Well, you know, I'm, I'm a Vinny guy, too, so I'm pretty pretty happy about this. Uh-huh. This seems pretty cool. Kyle Rideout approves of it, too, so you, you know it's going to be a good game. So yep. this is an Illness 98. Well, it's Nintendo Shop. Wing Artist 28. This is Wing Artist 28. Hey. That's, well, not, that's not you at all, Bacon. You're a horrible liar. What's doing my identity? Oh. Identity theft. Yes, oh. he has downloads Bacon, and I'm CC Trainer Ling. James the Con Man. And we're at 20, we're at ours 28. <laughs> and this is Steven Pujols. Back signing off. Until, and we're going to try our best to get our identities back intact. Yep. All right, guys, so we will see you around very soon. All right, guys. See you. Guys. Peace out, home. Thank you. Slices. Good night. Take care, pet Peace. shoppers. Stay close. We love you. Dude, you stole my line, man. <laughs>